Hey everybody, it is June 15th, 2007. I am Sonic Sons. I'm doing a video about Ubuntu Linux, which is a very, very nice thing. For those of you who don't know, um, your computer runs on an operating system. <laughs> I wonder how, how much I have to explain here. But every computer has got, you know, something like, like Windows or the Mac operating system or something like that, which is, you know, the basic thing where other programs get installed and stuff, right? Problem with Windows and Mac, um, and other random things you've never heard of, is that they're all owned by various companies. And you have to pay these companies <laughs> to get your copy. Unless, of course, you want to illegally download one, which actually isn't that hard. But, in general, you know, this stuff costs money. Well... There's this other thing out there called Linux, which is open source, which means, for you non-geeks out there, that it was created by thousands of geeks all around the world, <laughs> each contributing little bits of code here and there, each like helping out on various places of it, and the whole thing just evolves. Open source is a very nice thing, and I'll probably get into that in more depth in another video, but Ubuntu Linux is, um, okay, first off, I didn't mention that Linux is an operating system, right? So Linux can host programs, and it can, you know, just be the basis for lots of other stuff to happen. And there are many different flavors of, of Linux, or uh, distributions, as they're called, or distros for short. The best of these, as I keep saying, is Ubuntu. And Ubuntu is really just... Better than Windows. <laughs> I can say this. I can say this pretty definitely, uh, except for for a few little things. The biggest thing uh, that Windows has going for it, in the face of Linux, uh, is inertia, and that is to say that uh, since everybody uses Windows, all the companies make programs to run on Windows, and since everyone wants to use those programs they have to use Windows, or so the conventional wisdom goes in any way. So it seemed impossible for anything else to make a, to make it a beachhead, you know, to, to make any sort of headway. But Linux has done that. They've got um, their own browser, right, you know, Firefox, which actually you can get on Windows, by the way, but, you know, it comes in bundled in with Ubuntu. And they've got uh, OpenOffice.org. That's not just a website. That's, like, the actual name of it, or generally just called OpenOffice, which is essentially just, like, all your Word stuff all put together, and it even, like, handles Microsoft documents. So you have things already in .doc, you know? You have them in doc form, and uh, Linux will read that. <laughs> and then it can also, you know, save it in that form or save it into its own form if you feel like it. So that works out pretty nice. And it's got this great repository of... Uh, of, of just all these programs just out on the internet that you can just get instantly, right? So let's say you want uh, something like Photoshop. On Ubuntu, you just like, you know, bring your mouse to the upper left-hand side of the screen, you go to your applications, and then you go to uh, add or remove, and you just, you just search for image software. <laughs> and there's this thing called the GIMP. And the GIMP is about 70% of what Photoshop does, which granted, if you're a professional, you still need Photoshop. But for the rest of us, it's amazing. <laughs> so you just click on that and you say, give me this program. Downloading. Be installing. Be done. <laughs> I love how, how everything is so centralized and like makes sense in Ubuntu. You know, it's, uh, <laughs> you know, there's that, there's that one add and remove programs thing, which handles all the getting online, getting the latest updates, all everything updates by itself, you know, it's all things like, you need updates, and you like click, and like, getting updates, Deet. done, <laughs> for all your programs, you know, it's, um, it's faster, right, uh, Ubuntu is, that is to say, you know, I boot it up, and it, it actually boots, <laughs> doesn't take all that long, or on shutdown either, and it's more stable, you know. Generally, the worst I have is like maybe Firefox will crash on me, but Firefox saves like you know what you're currently doing. So I just click the Firefox thing, and then like, would you like to go back to what you're doing? Yes, and then it just brings it back. <laughs> like, okay, that's not much of a problem. The thing never gets viruses. Um, 
in part because nobody bothers writing viruses for Linux these days, but in part because of the open source nature of it allows people to keep writing in more virus protections and type stuff. You would think, you know, if it's open source, it should be really easy for someone to go into the source code and figure what would be an ultimate killer virus and make that. But apparently not, because that's just not what happens. You know? And the thing is free. It's absolutely free to download. There's no licensing. There's no EULA agreement to sign, you know. Nothing at all. Uh, and you can try it out uh, risk-free. You, what you do is you, you download um, what they call a live CD, right? You download like a CD image. You burn it to a CD. All right, take that up. Shut down the computer. Put that in. Turn that on. It'll turn on and it'll boot from the CD. So use your CD drive as if it were a hard drive. And it won't even touch your hard drive. So it's like can't physically screw anything up unless you tell it to. And they'll just boot from that and like, would you like to run Ubuntu? And you're like, oh, yes. And then like a fully functioning operating system shows up. And like from this CD, you can surf the web. And you can, you know, do some word processing. And you can, you know, all these various things and whatever various programs you're going to get. And the thing keeps improving. This is the deal. Windows has all this inertia on its side, right? But Linux and Ubuntu and open source software all of these get better faster than Windows. I talked about sort of Windows Vista. Like after five years of solid work, it wasn't much of an improvement. But five years ago, Ubuntu didn't even exist. <laughs> Obviously, Ubuntu is built on the code from previous distributions. But still, you know, they come up with a, a new edition of Ubuntu every six months, right? And you think, oh, I don't know, I have to upgrade. Aha, aha. But see, see, they're, they're nice about this. First off, you can upgrade just by, like, going and clicking the little update button. And it does all the upgrading for you. <laughs> Secondly, every, um, every edition or whatever is supported for 18 months. So six months later, they come out with, like, you know, the next, the latest release, right? Uh... But you can actually get a release and keep it for a year and a half, and they'll keep sending you like security updates and stuff, just because they're nice that way. 